Okay, hi guys. Um, just gonna show you how to, um, in my opinion, upgrade. The best upgrade one can do um, on an old laptop or older laptop. This is an HP Pro um, 4530S, and all I'm doing to it is basically adding on a, a SSD drive, solid state drive. Got this off um, from eBay. Um, uh, yeah, had a pretty, pretty good price. 250 gig um, SSD drive. Now, in order to put in an extra drive on, on this particular laptop, I needed to get a um, um, hard drive caddy case. This is I got this off of eBay as well. Um, yeah, a pretty good price. This is this caddy case is specific to this model of uh, HP that I have. So, uh, when you guys, if you guys are getting uh, this caddy case, make sure that it's specific to your laptop. Um, itself. Okay, so one of the first things that you will do is to remove the battery, which I've done already. And in order to get the um, the um, manual or, or the service pla uh, panel off, you have to push in the two battery clips and push back. It comes off pretty easy, uh, as you can see. Um, obviously, once you have the um, service panel off first things to probably do is to um, take off, um, we're going to take off the optical drive or the CD drive. It's basically um, one screw that locks it right here. So you just want to obviously unscrew that. Okay. There's a little um, cup here that you want to push forward. I hope you guys can see that. Right there, let's push forward. What this does, it actually moves the CD um, drive forward. This front panel can be easily clipped off once the case is pushed forward. Just play with it. Just try not to obviously force it out because it will break. Like so. So that's the front panel of the CD drive. Once that piece has a little lock with an arrow that you just want to push out on. Once you release that, it literally pops out. So this is the optical drive that I've taken out of the It's always best just to, um, before installing the new caddy, that you size it up and see if it's basically the same size um, for going any further. Um, judging from the one that I did buy, um, it's literally the same size. So what you want to do next is um, basically on the front part or the part that actually goes within the laptop itself it has a, a screw. Um, you can see that right there. It has this bracket. You're going to maybe remove the bracket from the original drive and then transfer it over to the caddy, which I'm going to do. Okay, I've just replaced the um, bracket onto the caddy case. Um, what you want to obviously make sure that that the top bracket is sitting flush parallel with the back of the caddy case. Okay, after that, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, you just want to put in your SSD drive into the caddy case. Um, you'll see the arrow on the top of your SSD drive, which pretty much slots into the caddy case and goes into the SSD bracket in the caddy case. This pops in this. Pretty much, pretty simple. Okay, once you have that secured in place, just shake it around just to make sure it's secure. Then you want to now just pop that into your um, HP PC. Um, the HP PC. That's pretty link quite perfect. Pretty happy with that. Um, so now, as I mentioned earlier, it's sort of Replace that screw that you have um, taken out, which is right there, to secure that into place. And um, I'm going to try to put back the original um, HP um, 
see the front cover. Let's see if that works. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. But it did come with another front cover, um, which is pretty neat. But I was hoping that the HP would fit. Um, so it doesn't look that odd. Alright, so I'm just gonna slot that in the top here. Goes in pretty easy. Um, that's the end result on the side there. It's got the um, neatest of finishings, but um, that's sacrificed in order to put in the SSD drive, SSD drive into this um, specific laptop itself. Alright, so once that's out, that's in. All you have to do is just to put back the service panel. Oh. <laughs> and close it up. And yeah, I'll give you some details once um, I have any readings on the SSD drives and performance on it. Thanks. Okay, just a small update. I did manage to um, get in the original cover, optical drive cover. Um, basically, it just uh, clicked on um, after putting it in the correct position, so it is possible to get back the um, original HP optical drive cover onto the hard drive caddy. Oh, looks pretty good.